Okay, if you're like me and you've got a decent big rotator cuff tear in your shoulder and you may or may not be going for surgery and you've got a little bit of frozen shoulder as well, here's an idea for you to try and get some range out of your shoulder. Now, if you're like me, you'll have trouble pressing over here. Now, that's a strength issue and it's also a motor control issue and it's an impingement issue. Now, because I'm not pressing over here a lot, and because I've got a bit of frozen shoulder here and I'm struggling with range that way, because it's sometimes painful to go into that range, I don't go into that range often, and then I lose that range. Now, how do you get that range back if it's painful and it's hard to get into and you're weak and you're causing problems every time you try and go into that range? Well, here's a solution for you. So, what you need is something high. Now, this could be over a door at home. I just put it over a rig and get a band over there so it's high. Now this band needs to be reasonably strong. Doesn't mean, you can start with a white one, but I'm okay with a blue one. This band is to pull down. Now you think, why are you pulling down when you're supposed to be putting up? With pressing up, I've got a bit of a problem with that because I'm weak and I've got a tear in that shoulder. Now, I can't, you know, if I press up, I'm gonna use my super spinase. It's gonna cause a few problems if I keep doing it. We're going to start running into trouble. So for this temporary solution to get my range, what I'm going to use the band for is to help me up there so I can access mobility and pattern of movement above my head, or at least above my shoulder height, to be able to access some range and get it a bit looser so it feels better. Okay, so this point here, now listen, I can get above my head, but it's a bit sore. So at this point here, the band, Sort of holding my arm. So I don't have to use as much super spinatus in this position. Now remember, this is only to get you some range and give your body experience of more movement with less pain. So what I do is I go through a P and F pattern of movement. So I'm going to go diagonally across my body. So from this point, I'm adducted and internally rotated. What I'm going to do is slowly eccentrically, externally rotate, abduct my arm, uh, my shoulder, and I'm letting the band take me up, but I'm holding back. So I'm using muscles in here, I'm not using much muscles on the top, I'm resting them up. So I'm letting my arm get pulled into external rotation and abduction, which are the two things I have trouble with, without using the muscles that do it. The band's doing it. Okay, so I'm getting some experience of how to get some mobility through here. Now I can sit there, it's fine. And this point here, I can actually work on, can I let the band take me further back into experimentation, which is that whole range of movement issue I have when trying to press, and then come back down to relieve it. So it's almost strengthening as well, right? You've got a bit of internal rotation strengthening. But I'm also learning to try and slowly let that shoulder go into the positions which I don't like very much, give some experience. Now that'll free me up, loosen me up, and open up through that front of the capsule, which is what I need, and give my body a little experience in there so I can clear some of that impingement. I can get that joint movement because we all know if you get more movement, it's going to be less painful than that. And then come back down again. So it's not strengthening above here. I'm not strengthening up in that position. That's pulling from pulling down, going up. This one here is simply for some range. We've got some eccentric strengthening work going on with the other muscles around the rotator cuff, including a subscat, but it's just getting that experience. So if I'm a bit loose there, I'm a bit more comfortable and I'm more likely to be able to then strengthen as I get better and better and better, strengthen above head into that position going forward. So there's a little tip for you. If you've got a bit of a rotator cuff problem, you've got a bit of a frozen shoulder problem, you have problems going over here, you've lost your range, you've lost your external rotation, you lost your abduction, you can't get into this sort of shoulder press position. See how that goes for you. See you next time.